Hello, and welcome to our virtual Bell Tower Tour. My name is Sarah Vealey McLean, class of 1992, and I started as a bell ringer in 1989. So I've been ringing these bells for over 30 years. How many of you realize that we have a Wells treasure hidden behind a door on the crossbar on Fourth Floor Main? So where we're standing now is known as the playing platform, and this is where the bells are actually rung. They're not actually here, they're another 66 steps above us in the belfry. But this is the playing platform, and this is how the bells are rung. Let me give you a little bit of history that I looked up for my bell tower tours that I've been offering at reunion since my 20th reunion. Some fun facts. We're unable to call our bells a carillon because you need at least 22 bells to be, to be considered a carillon. And we have 10. We have an F major scale with an added E flat and a high G so that we can play our, our beloved alma mater. The bell tower is 160 feet high which equals the width of the main facade. The total weight of the bells is 7,000 pounds, with the low F weighing 2,200 pounds just by itself. The bells were originally cast by the Manili Company of Troy, New York in 1922. Oh, excuse me. Nine of them were cast in 1922, and one was cast in 1930. The bells were given in memory of William Messner Chapman, class of 1912, by your parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jacob Messner of Rochester, New York. And actually, if you look carefully, there's a plaque stating this in the alcove across the Minerva. The bells were dedicated at Wells College September 30th, 1922, with a, with a, a concert by Mr. Manuel himself. As I said, we have 10 bells in the key of F major with a high G and an E flat. Originally the bells were cast, but not tuned. So you may recall in July of 1994, the bells were removed from the tower. They were refurbished and tuned by Richard Watson of Meeks Watson and Company at Verdon in Cincinnati, Ohio. And they were returned to the tower in February of 1995. We rang the restored bells on February 9th, 1995. And this project was funded by the class of 1953 and 1969, which cost $53,000 total. I know, pretty impressive. So as I said, I've been playing these bells since 1989, but I personally had never been to the Belfry to see the view from there because I'm afraid of the dark. And it's pretty dark up there. But in my 20th reunion, I decided to be a grown-up and explore to see what's above me in the dark recesses of the bell tower. And I braved my way up to the belfry, was so impressed by the view, I decided everybody needed to see this, and started offering bell tower tours officially the next year at reunion. Since I live locally in Geneseo, New York, it's easy for me to come back to reunion and play the bells at reunion and give the tours, which I truly love to do because I don't know what my life would have been like if I hadn't been a bell ringer at Wells College and that I still have the opportunity to play them when I come back to campus. And I think it's a treasure worth preserving and advertising and I'm happy to share it with all of you. Now, if you'd like to join me, we'll take the 66 stairs to the belfry and see what kind of view of the lake we can get. Please notice the beautiful woodwork of the, this is the original playing um, apparatus of the bell. So it's original. It needs probably a little bit of polish. <laughs> and the stairs are also original.
the year, um, meeting former bell ringers and spouses of former bell ringers that want to give it a, sh uh, a try. So I hope you've enjoyed spending some time with me today. Um, this is Aurora in general and Wells College is one of my happy places and the bell tower is one of my favorites. And as long as these legs will tear, take me up the stairs, I'll keep ringing for you. So thank you for joining me. I hope to see you in person soon.